it's cleaned itself up in my lifetime. People got this perception that there's uh, dead bodies, dogs, cats and everything floating down. A canoe on it, people go fishing on it and catch some big fish. We've been speaking to a lad this morning who caught a massive fish today. But people won't believe us. <laughs> so we're going to prove that we can. We're going to dive in it, my son and myself. Absolute proof that we believe that the water is clean. I think it is an important feature. I mean, historically it's important because it marks a border between Manchester and Salford. I'd be interested personally to follow it and see where it actually ends up or where it begins, to be, to be accurate. When I was younger, it was extremely dirty. I don't think there was much really living in here at the time. And obviously there was a few accidents through people not being careful by the river. I've lived in Lower Broughton. You know, the bird. <laughs> when I was younger, we were always told to stay away. And I've only, in the past five or six years, started coming down by the river, because my partner fishes. So obviously it's encouraged me to bring the children down here. I've been looking at Salford as a wildlife area. A lot of people don't realise how many amazing green spaces there are in Salford. I think the River Irwell is an integral part of the network of habitats here. River Irwell is a site of biological importance for its wintering ducks. It's the golden eyes that fly in from Iceland, goosanders, tufted ducks. Just underneath the bridge here over on my right hand shoulder, there's some grebes. And I, I love watching grebes. Fantastic bird. You, you can go along, there's herons, there's kingfishers. Around here, it, it's really quite an attractive feature. And if you took picture postcard snaps of this river and showed people, they wouldn't connect it to Salford because of the image that Salford has as being kind of industrial, which is true, but it's also quite green. It's a natural resource, why not use it? If they're into fishing, they get to go fishing because we've got so many different fish in the river, because it's becoming cleaner, and possibly more help with cleaning up the river, maybe informing people about not throwing rubbish into the river in the first place. And it would make fishing a lot easier in general because you're gonna have more population of fish because it's not being polluted. It's difficult to pick one, really. Clifton Country Park's a great place to go. People are seeing roe deer at the moment. The, the pub just up near the race course, that is a, it's a good place to watch wildlife and have a pine. It wouldn't have occurred to me until maybe six months ago, but during the summer I went onto this course in renewable energy mapping. And it never occurred to me until that event to actually think in terms of a river as being a source of energy, but we're, what, 100 yards maybe away from a weir. But according to what I understand, that weir alone could provide green energy for 200 homes. Well, one of the things that I know is I'm a swimmer and I've won a Mark Addy trophy, the trophy that I've been most proud of in all my life. And Mark Addy from the 1880s, 1890s, did something like 50 rescues in here. You go down to Wee Cemetery, you'll see it's the largest cenotaph in there. It's four metres high. And it was erected on public subscription. But ask people, nobody knows about this famous man. He saved lives. Fantastic guy. I think it's a lovely feature. I just don't know how you can make better use of it. But in some respects, I don't want us to make better use of it because that always seems to be you know, commercialising things. I just don't think I've explored it as much as I should do. It's not to tell the children not to use the river, it's to educate the children about the river and the dangers and also the good things about the river. They get to be outdoors and not stuck inside. It's a physical thing as well as a mental thing for a lot of children. I'd say don't tell them to stay away, educate them about it. It's a brilliant network of wildlife habitat. We've got the River Irwell, we've got the docks, the ship canal. Uh, they're all wildlife corridors. I think we've got a massive opportunity in Salford. We've got so many amazing wildlife habitats that, you know, I think they need to be linked together and promoted. I'd like the people of the city to be proud of the city, get in here, 
clean it up more and boast about it. Say we've got the greatest river in the country.